Hey everyone, welcome to 5 a.m. prayer. Do me a favor and share. We are live. Do let someone know as well that we are not on um, Instagram tonight. So I did leave a message on the story, but I just want to encourage you guys again to ensure that you let someone know that we are live on YouTube and Facebook tonight only, um, which is kind of cool because with Instagram, you know, they'd be ready to terminate you. So um, again, do me a favor and tune in, um, share, 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 share. Let someone know that we are live. I'm gonna give you guys a little chance to get on here as I do. Um, and, and from we are tuning in from so I see we've got Owsbury I don't even know where Owsbury is that I wonder if that's in the States I'm gonna have to ask Miranda that one because Owsbury I haven't heard of that one but give you guys a chance to get in Get in, get in, share, share, share. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Okay, I found out. Apparently, it's near Watford. So, learned something new today. Buckinghamshire, North Carolina, Alabama. This is great. This is great. I'm just giving you guys a quick moment. We've got like two minutes, then we're going to start. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Nottingham. Florida. This is amazing. This is amazing. Keep sharing, keep sharing, let people know. And if you know someone that normally listens on um, Instagram, let them know that we are on YouTube and Facebook today. Okay, so let them know. Wow, London, Jamaica. That's what I'm from. Jamaica, Minnesota, Philly. Virginia, Dallas. This is great. Good morning. Oh, hi, Elder Jackie. That's my elder, guys. Bishop, good morning. Trinidad, I love it. Right, you guys got one more minute that we get, we're going to get going. We're going to get going. Georgia's in the house. Kent, Columbia, South Carolina. Trinidad. North Carolina. It's quite a few of you from North Carolina today. Buffalo, New York. I love it. We have one more minute. If you're just tuning in, this is Five in Prayer. And I'm so excited because I get to share with you my mentor. And I'll tell you a little bit about that in a little minute. Morning. Good morning. Australia. Now that's far. Hey, Australia. North Carolina, Minnesota. More London, that's what I'm talking about, London, stand up. Virginia, London, Birmingham. I mean, North Carolina is here, full-fledged today. I love it. I love North Carolina. Awesome. All right, it's five past. So... We're not on Instagram today. I've just seen the comments. We are not on Instagram today. Do me a favor. If you see someone messaging saying, um, what's going on? Tell them we are on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, see, Lord. Facebook and YouTube. We're on Facebook and YouTube. Um, and so I just want to echo that again. I've just seen some people's comments. We're not on Instagram today. Facebook and YouTube, Facebook and YouTube, Facebook and YouTube. Hopefully they'll see my story and let us let me know. Um, Maryland's in the house. Great. Indiana. Okay, cool. I really don't want to waste too much time today. Thank you all for tuning in today. Today's really special um, because I prayed about today and I asked the Lord. Um, I'm going to tell you about that when I bring her on. Let me do that because I, I want to keep her in the dark too long. So um, without further ado, I'm so excited today because I get to share with you um, 
my mentor, Maratha, and so I'm really excited. I'm bring her out on here so we can say, hey, hey, hey. I'm so excited about today. Um, so as I was saying, um, I was praying and asking God um, what this next five and prayer was going to be about. And I just had this burden for like minstrels, worship leaders, and, you know, creatives alike. And um, I was like, Lord, I want to dedicate something towards that, that those people and just kind of pour out my heart. And I was like, oh, I need to get around on this. Like, so, you know, I reached out to you and you were like, yeah, let's do it. Um, what a lot of people don't know about Miranda, I'm going to say this, because I always tell the story about the singing and all of that. But let me tell you, this woman is oh. a pro. Let's, let's, let's not get twisted. And I need you to understand that because I, as a mention, I'm sure she'll cover this, but it's so important to have a prayer life. Like, it's necessary. And um, I normally spend time introducing her from a mentorship and, like, more of their singing aspect and that. But I felt like today I wanted to come from a different angle. Um... I know there was one particular time I was going through something really, really, really bad. And I'll never forget, she literally, like, I'll never forget, I was, like, really firm in it. Anyone who knows me, I'm quite a tough person. I'm like, I ain't gonna cry, I ain't crying, what? And um, we was having a dialogue, and she was just like, yeah, you need to let this go. And I was like, I'm not letting this go, I'm fine, like, I'm good. And I remember she just went into prayer, and, like, by the end of the prayer, I literally broke down. Like, I was like, Ooh, like, crying. And I was, it was so, so important to know that someone can discern and know what it takes. Because sometimes we can talk to people and that's great, not against talking and conversing, but there's a time to talk and there's a time to pray. And there's some things that need to be dealt with in prayer. And so I really felt that it was necessary to share with you guys um, who I get to glean from every day. And I'm so grateful. But I wanted to share for the minstrels and just allow her to pour of her heart and whatever she's spoken um, and whatever she feels in her heart to share. So we're going to do that um, in like literally one minute. But I do want to share this one thing with you guys that literally dropped in my spirit about today and just being open. And one of the things he said to me, he asked me this question. And I want to put this question to every worshipper, every minstrel. What do you love? What do you love? And the reason why he asked me this question, he said to me, um, he said the what the greatest challenge is going to be your heart. What do you love? And some of us, if we're honest, we've fallen in love with our gift and not actually in love with him. And so for some of you, this season is really difficult for you because it's it's pushing you back to him. Mm -hmm. And so um, I, just, I just wanted to put that in your spirits and I want you to be open. Some of you, you're in the comforts of your home, so you can cry. We can't see. We can't see. We can't see what that deliverance looks like for you. This is the beauty of that. So I want you to be open and just allow God to pour into your spirit. Whatever she has to say, just take it and receive it and allow God to work on the inside of you. Okay, over to you, Miranda. I just want you to share as you've led. Oh, wow. Well, um, first of all, thank you. Thank you for uh, thinking of me and wanting me to uh, be a part of um, you've been doing this for a while. Uh, you've been doing this for a while, yeah. And so, thank you <laughs> for allowing me to to come on and and, and share. Um, I'm humbled by that. Uh, one one of the things that um, stood out to me the most, uh, especially concerning this season, um, you know, we're going through a pandemic. We're going through. Uh, crises. Uh, we're going through uh, so many things. People are experiencing death at just rapid mm -hmm. paces. And um, I, I spoke uh, on it last week a little bit about, you know, um, things happening outside of the norm. Like this yeah. isn't the normal thing uh, to do. And so we have this pandemic and we're now confined to our homes and worshiping from home and right. logging in to experience different ministries in one day from home. You yeah. know, the, 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 we, we're not able to fellowship the way we typically do. And um, I've, I've noticed a great heaviness upon well, everyone, but I wanted to uh, especially be an encouragement to the minstrels. 
uh, mm-hmm. the the leaders, um, the the praise teams uh, in in this season. I consider this, although it's a pandemic, it's still a time of retreat. Yeah, yeah, it's still a time of retreat, and even in this. Um, when this is over, the world is looking at us now. The world is looking at how we're responding. Mm. <laughs> like there's a big magnifying glass on, on what we're doing. And so I challenge you all to, to, to let God inspire you in this season. Um, we, we don't have people to sing in front of right now. <laughs> we, we don't have of that congregation to sing to. So allow God to be your inspiration. Yeah. And I I, I wanted to touch on um, the importance of prayer connected to the minstrel, connected to uh, the worshiper. And um, I just have a few notes here, if you would allow me to share. Please do. Um, (laughs) uh, A little bit. Um, uh, This is a quote. And it says, um, prayer is the raising of one's mind and heart to God wow. or the requesting or the requesting of good things from God. Uh, that quote came from St. Saint, Saint John Damascene. Okay. Again, prayer is the raising of one's mind and heart to God or the requesting of good things from God. Um, Prayer at its most basic, basic, basic level is simple communication with God. Yeah. Communication with God. And the reason I like to talk about these things is because, you know, we get into the hype and sometimes when we get into the hype, we fall quickly. And it's because our foundation isn't stable. Our foundation is, is not what it should be. And if there's no other time to pray, yeah. Now is the time. So, um, so, so prayer at its at its most basic level <laughs> is uh, simple communication with God. It is a conversation between parent, yeah, and child. You know, uh, our prayers should be one of before we ask Him for anything. <laughs> I love it. Our prayer should be one of thanksgiving, mm. uh, thanking God for, for who he is and what he's done and what he's doing, what he will do, and, and, and what God has blocked from happening. Yeah. Thank, uh, uh, so we have thanksgiving, then we have forgiveness. We haven't asked him for anything yet. Right. Anything yet. So we have thanksgiving, now we have forgiveness. Forgive us our debts. Mm. So we have thanksgiving, forgiveness, and provision. Give us this day our daily bread. Mm. Then we have thanksgiving, forgiveness, provision, protection. Deliver us from the evil one. Right. Yeah. Thanksgiving, forgiveness, provision, protection, intercession. Mm. Then intercession, making requests on behalf of others. We haven't even made it to you yet. It's good. It's good. We haven't even made it to you yet. So we have Thanksgiving, forgiveness, provision, protection, intercession. Okay. You're making requests on behalf of others. This is very important, worshiper. It is difficult to make requests from anyone with whom you do not have a relationship with. Come on. That's it this. is very difficult. You try walking up to somebody that you don't know. Yeah. And say, hey, I'm requesting a hundred dollars from you. And watch how that response gonna be. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get a look, you're gonna get some kind of weird whatever. So it's very difficult to make requests from anyone with whom you do not have a relationship. Prayer and worship of God requires a, a, a deep a deep relationship. God has not called you as a worker. He has, but, but as a son and and a daughter, That's he has not called you. He has not called you as a pastor, a preacher, a worship leader, but as a child who is dependent upon the parent, 
unconditional love. The parents' mm-hmm. unconditional love. He's called you to that. Unconditional love, the care and the grace and the, and the protection and the provision that he'll give. There are certain things that I can ask of, of, of my parent. Right. There are certain things I can ask of, I just touched on this, certain things I can ask of my dad that a stranger or somebody can't even ask. Right. And I'll receive it. Yeah. So again, it's 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 difficult to make requests to someone that you don't have a relationship with. That's good. No relationship. No relationship can survive with or on public adoration only. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It just can't. It, it It's cute. You post a cute, <laughs> but no relationship can survive off of public adoration only. If I'm dating someone and, 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 and who only has nice words to say about me in public, right? but never acknowledges me in private, that relationship will not last. Yeah. Or it'll be an unhappy one. And it'll be one-sided. Wow. Uh, this can only happen when we publicly worship, but don't privately pray. Mm. So don't be guilty of serving a God that you have no real relationship with. Matthew 7, 22 and 23. Matthew 7, 22 and 23. I'm saying it again. Matthew 7, 22 mm. and 23. Uh, reads, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. Mm. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Right. I never knew you to depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Yeah. So you don't want to spend your life receiving accolades from from men. Yeah. And 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 from people, and then hear God say, "I never knew you." Jesus. I don't ever want to live a life wanting to gain praise from people, and then at the end of the day, get there and say, "God, depart. I never knew you." God help All us. this for praise for men. Okay. God is not looking for worship leaders. God is looking for a leader who worships. Mm. He's looking for, he's looking and listening for worshipers to pray. That's good. To pray, which I feel is, there's no law. It's not written anywhere. This is my personal conviction that prayer is the highest form of worship. That's good. That's my that's my personal conviction, and that's what I live by. That's good. The soul of a worshiper, the soul of a worshiper uses prayer to expose the reality of our hearts before God. Jesus. The soul of a worshiper uses <laughs> prayer to expose the reality of our hearts before right. God. Right. This reality is gratefulness for God hearing our prayers and answering our prayers. Yeah. Okay. I can't see any of the comments. I don't know if people are <laughs> asking questions. Um, you get at the moment. They just take okay. it. <laughs> so, because I'm just, you know, um, you type out stuff and you just, I have so much here, but I just need you all to understand that prayer is necessary. Uh, for the worshiper, the soul, I'm going to say that again, because that blessed me. The soul of a worshiper uses prayer to expose the realities of our hearts before God. Soul, heart, not spirit, soul. I'm talking about your mind, your heart, your soul. Yeah. It exposes. Now, I, I haven't even touched on the spirit yet. So yeah, I'm going to pause right there for a minute. This is good. I mean, <laughs> I'm put that back up. The soul of a worshiper. Yeah. Prayer to expose the realities of our heart. Of our heart. Yeah. And that makes sense because 
as I said, the first question I remember I said to you was, what do you love? What is your, what is your heart pain? I know that's, I know yeah. that's information because what God was showing me was that he, he literally said to me, I'm going to say it as he said it, he literally said to me, there are areas of our heart that we have made idols. Whoa. He said, people, people platforms, um, we have made idols in our heart. And so wow. for some of us, this place of quarantine has been difficult because we didn't realize how we idolize what we do. Yeah. And so now God is bringing us to a quiet place to expose what our soul is really saying. Our heart, what's where our heart posture is. Wow. This is literally a synergy of what God is saying because like, this is what he's doing. He's showing us where our heart posture is. Wow. I'm, I'm full. Like, this is. Yeah. Okay, give, give us more. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> So, like I said, in this season, um, our hearts and the motives of our heart, the issues of our hearts mm -hmm. are being exposed. And I believe that this time is this time of 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 quarantine and 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 pandemic is causing a shift yeah. in in our focus. And literally the weed is growing up with the tear. And so by the time this is, oh, what I said? Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a too close to this, yo. <laughs> and so by the time this is over, you'll be able to see. Who is who? They're, they're, yeah, who's who? Bernadette, I need you to go and find an image of a weed and a tear. I need them to see this. Just, you hear me? So, I need them to see this. This this wow. is insane. Oh my gosh. I, wow. The Holy Spirit is speaking. Yeah. If you're not like seriously, he that hasn't hear an ear to hear, let them hear. Like, because I looked up and I realized I didn't realize that a wheat and a tear, they look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, they look exactly the same. And believe it or not, that was the message that was preached at my ordination. That's the crazy thing about it. That was the the Whoa. Thing and it was said that this season we're going to see the wheat and the tears and there's some with, with the wheat and the tears you can't pull them up because the, the natural thing is let's get rid of it the tears like why are we going yeah, to yeah if you pull it up because the way that the tears work they connect itself to the wheat so you can't you have to wait till it's both at its fullness and then separate it by the fire oh jesus this is whoo Sabrina, I know you see it. Like, I know you hear this. This this is, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try to see if I can get up because I don't know if I can. This is, I need So y'all looking for it? Yeah, we're, we're, I'm going to look for it. I, I, I'm, I'm going to try okay. to share my screen to get you guys to see this. Um, wow. We did not plan this, so forgive no, me. We <laughs> I need you to see how similar they look. Oh. Okay, this is perfect. Right, let me make this bigger. Uh, oh, Jesus. This is... Wow. So if you would, I just want to say yeah. something else. Yeah. Um, how, how, how vital it is and how important it is for us to hear. You know, we, we quote the scripture a lot that he that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit says um, mm. to the churches. And 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 I, I, I oftentimes target the minstrels. I, also, I oftentimes target them because it's important that you hear. So it is my prayer that your ears become open because uh, there's gonna be a hunger after this okay. pandemic is over. It's, it's, it's brewing right now, actually. It's brewing right now, and we're gonna have to have enough food to feed the people. This is it. We we can't run out. We can't run out of stock. We we <laughs> once this is over, the churches will be flooded. The church, I, the churches will be flooded, and because the world is looking at how we respond to this, we don't respond as the world do. Because the, the Bible touches on it and said this is repeated history. This is this, yeah. This is repeated history. And so I need you all to prepare because once this is over, this will not be a time of rest. This will not be a time of rest 
We're going to have to get in the trenches. We're going to have to be pulling people up because we can't run out of stock. We can't run out of food to feed the people. We can't be weary and we can't be tired. So by the time this is over, our cupboards, everything needs to be full once they run into the churches because there's going to be a need and 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 and, and there's going to be it's going to have to be an overflow and you're going to have to prepare, to prepare yourself for for work mm. this is the time for the worker mm. that's why it's going to have to be a separation of the wheat and tear because I, <laughs> this is this is I, the time of of the yeah I, I, okay i have to show them i think i found this that i can do it we're gonna oh wow so I want to show you guys. Do you see Ooh. this? Whoa. This is what the wheat and tears look like. They look exactly the same. <laughs> Do you see that? How easy it is to mistake one for the other. On the left is the wheat, on the right is the tears. I just had to I just had to show them. I just Whoa. Whoa. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. I need y'all to understand that, you know, and it's not to, to keep reminding you, but I need you to understand the reality of the times that we're in. Mm. And, and, and the reality is these are perilous times. These are, and I'm not going to downplay that. This is serious. Um, people are losing their lives every day. Um, but we, <laughs> we've become immune. We've become immune to we're living in perilous times and we're living in the last days. And, but we really, we really, we really are y'all. We don't want to talk about it because some of us don't want accountability. This is it. You know, some of us don't, but there's a, there's a remnant of people who God is raising up. That's going to serve him for real. Um, and that's the reality. We don't typically preach it. We don't preach heaven, hell. You know, we don't do, you know, any of that. But the reality is, yes, we are living in perilous times and we've become so absorbed in the elements of the earth uh, that we forgot that we did not come here to stay. I just, I literally had that dis <laughs> discussion with someone the other day about our mindset is so much for now. For this now. But we didn't come here to stay. We we didn't come here to stay. We are here to recruit. That's so good. We are here, we are here to, to build recruit. disciples. Yeah. We're not here to stay. Get that? We're not our own. <laughs> we are here. To we are here to recruit. Get that in your minds. Get that in your minds. We're here. Um, to do that, uh, the enemy knows that his time is, is shortening up, it's, it's, it's getting short. Mm. But the enemy also heard us chanting and declaring things in the atmosphere. Uh, we've been declaring miracle signs and wonders, oh. uh, open heaven. <laughs> you know, right. we've been declaring, you know, all of these things in the earth and we've been echoing heaven and he has seen us experiencing his high glory, these high glory enc encounters. He, mm. He's seen that. He's seen that. He's mad at it. We know that he's he's upset. He's seen us be uh, liberated, and he's also seen the fruit of our worship. Mm. He's seen the fruit of our worship, <laughs> and we are getting him mad because he is the prince of the air. This is it. I tell people all the time. <laughs> I don't think you really register that that thing right there. Yeah, yeah. He is the yeah. prince of the air. He's I, the I prince of the air. So every time we open our mouth, every time we make a sound, because sound are measured in airway, anytime we open our mouth, we dethrone him in his own territory. He is in his own, and, and the war in the air is intensified. Yeah, no, that's true. I, I have no one else testifies to that. <laughs> Come on now. Let me tell you, okay? Whoa. Jesus. It's, it's a real place. It's a real place. But we have to be postured to hear heaven at all times. That's good. At all times. During our worship encounters, we have to be postured at all times. 
it's so important that we have ears to hear mm. what the Holy Spirit is saying to the churches. It's important that we hear so we can understand how to navigate. Right. It, it's it's so important. We we. This is so good. A babe can't navigate. So it's not it's not the season of 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 inexperienced. You know. <laughs> I just want you to say it. say it, say it so I can just. Not get the hate mail all the time in Jesus. Amen. It's 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 not a period to just you know pat you on your back and say, Oh, you can do it. No, lives are at stake. Lives, lives are at stake. stake. Lives are at stake, and we need mature people who are <laughs> in right posture, who can <laughs> see things for what they are, and is mature enough to put that song they learned to the side and follow Jesus so that lives can be saved Yeah. in that moment of worship. And you want to see miracles? You want to see signs? You want to see wonders? Here. Mm. Because you can't perform it yourself. You have to be open to be able to navigate. Open to be able to navigate. Yeah. Now, can I, can we, can I pause you on that? Because I think I'm, I'm going to talk about me so then people don't feel awkward about this. Because one of my challenges has always been to, and I've had to really push past it, is vulnerability. Mm -hmm. In order to hear, it takes vulnerability. And yes, I think that there's a lot of minstrels that are probably finding this environment really hard because it makes loud what you're, you're insecure about. Oh, I, that was the Lord. Mm -hmm. I definitely was meant to say that. <laughs> But it's almost like it's magnifying what's what we really think and what we feel about ourselves and what oh, yeah. that is definitely the Holy Ghost because that was not what I was trying to say. But I guess it's I feel like in my spirit, what I'm picking up and what I'm sensing is some of you are finding it hard to engage with God because he he's making loud the insecurity, he's making loud the thing yes. that has gone unnoticed, that has gone undealt with, the areas that mm -hmm. need deliverance and because it requires us to be vulnerable and to say, you know what, God, yeah, this is actually in me, or yeah, I am, mm -hmm. yeah, I need to work on this, or yeah, I don't appreciate this about me, or whatever it is that is your part of you that you find hard to be vulnerable, it's causing you not to hear. Whew. It's causing you not to hear. Wow. So you limit yourselves. You limit yourselves in his in his presence. Um, I remember, if I could share real quick. Please, please, please. Um, be, <laughs> um, people oftentimes talk about, "Oh, you're so bold and in the spirit, and you're so." It wasn't always that way. Mm -hmm. um, I became that because I wasn't I wasn't that in real life. I wanted to be. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to be, but in him, I found a safety there. And mm -hmm. if, if uh, please, I need y'all to understand this. If you're not safe anywhere else, you're safe. I need you to stay out of my conversations today. <laughs> what is your boy, Carolina? Are you hearing this? Jesus. You're okay. safe in the presence of God. If you're not safe anywhere else, y'all, you can trust God with your insecurities. I promise you he can do more with that mm. than anyone else can. Place all of that in his care. I promise mm. you. I promise you. I promise you. I'm going to say it again. I promise you it'll work for your good. And because of that, and if you place that insecurity on him, that's his responsibility. Watch how lives change. Jesus. Watch how lives change. Watch how souls are, are saved. Watch how many bodies get healed. I'm telling you, there's a safety in the presence of the Lord. There's a safety there that you can't get anywhere else in this world. 
If you can't be vulnerable nowhere else, you can be vulnerable in the presence of the Lord, period. Period. You can trust him with your thoughts. You can trust him with your heart. You can trust him with your spirit. You can trust him with your attitude. You can trust him with everything. You can trust God. And, and I'm not loosely saying that. It's a real place. His presence is a real place. It's a real place. It's, it's not something that we just throw in the air and be like, oh, in your presence, that's where I want to be. No, it's a real place. It's wow. serene there. It's safe there. Serene. Woo. It's serene. Jesus. There's a peace there that you can't get nowhere in this world. Nowhere. Nowhere in this world. <sighs> I literally. Hallelujah. I, was it? It's five now. Two hours ago, I just said this to Deborah. I just said this and we was praying. And I said, you know, this week I, I called you and I, I literally said to God, I don't know where else to go but to go to your presence. That's the only thing mm-hmm. that we're right now. And I think we fell, we're very quick to run to people and there's nothing yes. against that. I believe everyone has their place. But yes. the reality is no one is going to meet those needs like he does. We may get a fix for the day, a fix for the moment, but the truth of the matter is his presence causes you to be whole. Hallelujah. And I hear this even now. You can trust God with your loneliness. Mm. Jesus. You can trust God with your loneliness. You can trust him with your vulnerability. I didn't always do that. I'm just learning how to do that. Me too. I'm just learning how to do that. You can trust him with your errors. You can, tr- in this season, you can trust God with everything. We oftentimes say, yes, I trust you, you know, with my whole heart. No, 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 let's, let's spell it out. No, I can trust you with my vulnerabilities. I can trust you with my errors. I can trust you with my wrongs because I know one, you won't judge me. You'll take care of me and, and you'll, 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 you'll make sure that I'm good. You'll make sure that I'm good. I'm telling this is real talk. This is real talk. This is for somebody, but somebody even now feels lonely yeah. during this time of quarantine. But you can trust God with your loneliness. He is a very present help. He is a very, very, very present help. He is present. That's that's the word. He's present. He's not gone. He's present. I heard earlier today that you can't see the wind, but you can feel it. Yeah. You know that I heard that earlier that Yeah, you can't see the wind, but you can feel it. You may not see him, mm. but he's there. So yeah. I need you all to understand but that before you throw in the towel and fall into depression, because depression is trying to wrap its ugly existence around your life, around your mind, around your heart. And it's the trick of the enemy to make you believe that no one loves you, to make you believe that no one else is there. Yes, we as minstrels, we deal with these things. We did all because you see us and you may look up to some of us. We deal with real life issues. Yeah. You deal with it, but you can trust God with your loneliness. You can trust him in this season, give it to him and turn it over to him. But I sense the enemy trying to just push you into a place of depression, push you into a place of, of yeah. not knowing and believing that people care and that God loves you. He loves you unconditionally. He loves you with an everlasting love. I need to remind you that he does and that you are not alone. You may not see the wind, but you can feel it. You may not see him, but you can feel him. You may not physically see him, but you can feel him. He's there. He's there. He's there. Be yeah. open to what God, I'm serious, be open. Be open to hear. Be open. Be open. Be open. Wow. 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 I don't know if you and see. I just, yeah. Just- and I, wow. And I just, I just, I just sense the heaviness, and I'm starting to feel a little lighter now because and you will not take your life. 
and you will not take your life and you will not take your life. Suicide is not an option. And we bind it in the name of Jesus and we loose life in Jesus' name. God, we bless you. God, we thank you. God, we honor you. We we go before you and we come before you on behalf of your, of your people, Lord God, that may not feel you in the season, Lord God. We ask that you regulate their minds in the name of Jesus. Let them know that you're there. Let them know that they have angels. Let them know that they have angels, yeah. angels surrounding them in the name of Jesus, warring on their behalf, warring on their behalf. We call forth the angels yeah. in the name of Jesus, ministering yeah. angels, warring angels in yeah. the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that minds will be regulated. I thank yeah. you, Lord God, that hearts will be mended. Yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus, we thank you for divine healing. We pray that minds are stabilized in the name, 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 in the name. Your blood be applied right now in the name of Jesus. We Lord of our soul, we call on you tonight. We call on you. We call on you, Jesus. Jesus, we bless you, Jesus. Oh, la mandie de bosso, so mandie le la mandie, lo la mandie, Jesus. Ama, uh, life is your portion. Life yeah. is your portion. Life, 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 life is your portion. In Jesus' name, we thank you for stability of the mind, yeah. of the mind, of the mind. Stability, stability, mm. stability. Yeah. yeah, yeah, stability. Stability, stability, stability. 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 Stability, yes. no more motion sickness. Stability, yeah, in the name, uh, mm -hmm. stand in right posture. You will not fall, you will not break, you will not throw in the towel. You shall live, you shall live, you shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Life, 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 life is your portion. Stability, 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 stability. I can't leave it. Stability, stabilize right now, stabilize right now stabilize right now stabilize right now in the name in the name in the name in the name so now your heart is beating to the right rhythm in the name your lungs are opening up air is getting in breathe 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 in the name life in the name of Jesus. And for those of you that are worrying about your finances, for those of you that work full time at your churches and full time ministries, yes. I speak right now that there will be no lack, no, no lack, lack, no, no lack, lack in the name of oh, Jesus, oh, even oh, in this time of famine. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, we thank you for manna. Yes. We thank you that there will be nothing lacking, nothing broken, and nothing missing. That you are the God of provision. We thank you yes. for that place. Gyra, 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 gyra. We thank yes, you. Lord. We thank you. We thank you for making provision for oh, your people, Lord. God. They've served you. They've served you. They've served you. They're still serving you. And we come on their behalf, God. We come on their behalf, God. We thank you for miracles in their finances. We thank you for miracles in their finances, in their finances, in their finances. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. And we lay it at your feet. Yes, Lord. We lay it at your feet. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. We bless you. Ah, glory. You know, while you was praying, I, I kind of had to keep a, a name up on the bottom because I didn't want to lose. But Chrissy, I don't know you, but I just felt my spirit. The enemy has really been targeting you in this season. And I just sense that God is literally, you're going to feel a weight literally lift off of you. The things that you've yes. been dealing with. And I sense it's been very private for you this season. You haven't really spoken about what you've been going through, but I just heard the Lord saying that he's bringing a release for you. And this was for you tonight. If there was any came here for it was to, to bring a release to your spirit so father we thank you for chrissy right now lord god we thank you for what you're doing in her life oh god father we thank you that you're lifting every burden burden and every weight lord god that she's been carrying lord god father we decree and declare lord god that every word that's spoken concerning her life it will manifest we come against every 
voice and every accuser of the enemy that would yeah. try to whisper and cause her to doubt or cause her mind to be not stable over but father i decree and declare in the name of jesus that her mind will be in christ that her mind will be stayed on you father we place a hedge of protection around her mind in the name of jesus Use the blood over every thought father i speak in the name of jesus that her thought life will be blessed father lord god that her thought lord god will be produce the right speech and she will speak the right things father i intercede on her behalf and we counteract and we cause a fire to burn mm. up that has tried to curse her, Lord God, that has tried to stop her from moving on her assignment. We decree in the name of Jesus that she will walk in the assignment you have called her to walk in. And we thank yes. you for how it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. I, I, yes, I, Lord. I, I tell you, right away, it stirs me up. <laughs> I'm like, bro, we're just, we're just flowing. I know this one's a bit different, but I, I had Ooh. to go. The Lord is showing me and what he's putting in um, Miranda's heart as well. Like, we're just, we just want, it, there's no point us doing it for doing it's sake. Like, it's about what God is saying and what he's saying Ooh. in the very moment. And I really believe that, you know, as, as she began to talk about stability of the mind, I really believe that your mind is going to be hidden in Christ in this season, that your mind, your thought life is going to be focused in this season. Your thought life, is going to be focused in this season. You will not keep speaking your death. You will not speak your death. You will not speak your death. Ah, go, man. I have that sense that the enemy has tried to ensnare you with your own mouth. But we counteract every word curse that the enemy has lured you to say, and we command it null and void. We speak that you will speak life for his yes. words. He is giving you life and more abundantly. We decree that yes. in the name of Jesus, you in will speak name. life. We speak life over you. We speak life over yes, you. Yes, Lomando. Life over you. We speak life over now. My soul, when I come to get him, in the name of Jesus, in the name yes, of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Some of you have to change your speech. You have to change Ooh. your speech. And you've got to learn that even when you don't get it, it's better you shut up until you get it and then start speaking what he says. Yes. We can't condemn ourselves by our speech. We can't allow the enemy to ensnare us by our speech. We've got to speak the right things in this season. Um, mm. I found out here in the Jewish calendar, it's the year of the mouth. It's the year of the mouth. So everything that we say, everything that we say, everything. yeah, is got to be. You got to be so strategic. And some of us, we, you know, we didn't know any better, and that's fine. There's repentance for you. You can say, God, I'm sorry, I didn't know any better. But we are going to speak life in this season. You're going to speak life into your finances. You're going to speak life into your situations. You're going to speak life into your family, your marriage, your children. You're going to speak life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want to let you guys share before we get into the prayer requests, um, because I know we've got a few prayer requests that came through. And if you've got Ooh. prayer requests, please feel free to comment, um, and we will make sure that we pray those things. But whatever you feel led in this moment, whatever you want to share, please just we're just mm -hmm. we're we gone. We just allow the God God to do what He's doing. I'm still Ooh. on the year of the mouth. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm still. <laughs> yeah. At, at, so Jewish calendar, they start in September. Mm -hmm. And so it's actually the year of the mouth. And so everything we say this year, we have the right to see what we say. See what we say. Only but here's the thing. thing. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, to see what you say. So y'all be careful as to what you say. Mm -hmm. because. It, whether it's good or bad, you have to be mindful now. Just like we're being mindful to wash our hands, just like we're being mindful now to disinfect, now that we're being mindful to be six feet away from people, you have to be just as mindful with your mouth and what you declare and what you release in the air concerning those things. You know, it brought me back to something you said in response to worship about he is cleaning us up. Some of us, are we've been dirty. And when you said disinfectant, I started to think, could this time be that God is causing the disinfectant to just, everything that's not like him, I need it out. Because well, well, you can't come out with that in you. I need everything that's not like me out. Whew. Oh my goodness, okay. 
Uh, we have what? How many? We 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 have ten minutes. I mean, we flow. Okay, so we have ten minutes. Someone says, "Let us intercede for those suffering in domestic violence, uh, that ministering angels will shield the children of God." Yes, That's one of the requests. Okay, we have. I have like twenty, so we're gonna. I'm just gonna theme them. I definitely I want you to touch on that one. Okay. That is suffering so domestic let's, violence. Yeah, let's pray because there's been a lot of that happening. Um, yeah. People are saying, purge me, oh God. They, there's people going into repentance right now. And if that's where you are, please go there. Go there. We're yes. going to go there. Let's, let's pray for the domestic violence and then we're just going to go Father, I thank you right now for this time of prayer, Lord God. I thank you for what you've already shown and shared in our hearts. Father, we put before you every family, Lord God, right now in this season, those who are dealing with domestic violence, oh God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will stay the hand of violence right now over the country, Lord God. Every country that is represented, Lord God. Father, we decree that your blood covers. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will minister to the fathers and the wives, oh God. Father, you said that the heart of the, ha the, heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord, and you turn it whatsoever way you will. We recognize, Lord God, that you can turn the hearts of people. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, where there is anger, where there is bitterness, where there is resentment, Lord God, where they are carrying things, whether it be from their childhood or their past, Lord God, where there is miscommunication, Father, I speak in the name of Jesus that you will be the hearts of those couples right now in the name of Jesus. Allow them be, allow them to be slow to speak and swift to hear. Father, I pray, Lord God, that the peace that surpasses all understanding guard their hearts and their minds. Father, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that you will send your supernatural presence into that situation. Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Father God, that you will cause your Shekinah just to steal the room. Father, we pray and we intercede for every child that is a result of domestic violence, oh God, for every mm -hmm. child that's with abuse, oh God. Father, we recognize, oh God, this is a new norm, Lord God, for some of these people mm. and for families. But Father, we recognize that you are in the family business, mm. that Father, you created the family, Lord God, that you may mm. do your work. So Father, we decree in the name of Jesus Lord that Lord you your patience to be in there, Lord God. Let them have the fruits of the Spirit, Lord God. Long mm. suffering, mm. Father God, allow your presence to be made known. Father, allow mm. them to be mm. the mm. and a, an, an example, Lord God, of deliverance and power power, Lord God, in their relationships. Father, I pray that you be in the center of every relationship right now, every breakdown, Lord God. Father God, I pray, Lord God, that you'll open up their hearts, oh God. Allow them to hear and see from a different perspective. Allow them to see and hear from a different point of view. Father, I pray for the child that's crying in a corner, Lord God, feeling that you and then, Father, we pray in the yes, name God, of Jesus that, that you will see about their needs. Let them yes. experience you like never before. Father, cause your angels to come protect them. Father, we send your war angel Michael to fight for every principality yes. that's trying to destroy marriages across the world. We intercede. We We command the blood in the name of Jesus. You said to the Israelites that they put the blood on their lampposts and their doorposts uh, and you every deaf angel will pass over I decree every deaf angel that is set for families to pass in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that they will live that they will live through this season Father God I pray that there will be a spirit of forgiveness allow their hearts oh God to be pliable every heart that is of stone I pray that you will soften it in the name of Jesus Father, I pray that you will reach out your hand and you will yes, begin Lord. to speak into their spirits, oh God. Show them yes, who Lord. they are. Show them that they're made in your image. Father, yes, show Lord. them that they are in your image and in your likeness yes. that you pulled them from the dust of the earth and you breathed your life into them. Yes, breathe Lord. life yes, in Father, we oh, every past, everything that has come to haunt them in their mind. I decree that their mind will be stayed. I decree every painful situation that yes, tries yes, to yes. haunt them, oh God, that they've been carrying. I pray that they will release it. Father, you said in your word, if we cast our burdens on you, you shall sustain us and you never permit the righteous to be moved. I decree that we will not be moved in this season. They will not be waiting for what they see oh, by COVID-19, but we will not be distracted, yeah, but we will recognize yeah, you. Yeah, and so we yeah, trust yeah, you. Yeah. We trust you yes, to do it. We trust you to trust perform you. it in the name yes, of Jesus. And we decree in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Peace in every home. 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 We need peace. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you for every request that has come forward. We thank you for those who need healing. Lord God, you did it yes, for the last 5 a.m. prayer. You've done it for the last two 5 a.m. prayers. I speak to everyone that's tuned in via this stream, oh God, that is dealing with COVID-19, as we've already talked yeah. about. Yes, God, Lord. That you will breathe the breath back into them, the Ruach. Father, let them have the living nifting mm -hmm. in them. Father, I speak that they will begin to breathe on their, by themselves. We speak that ventilators, Lord God, that, that have been helping them to breathe, they will be put out of work because they will begin to breathe by themselves. Father God, I pray that you will turn every report, make the doctors confused by oh, what you glory. Father, yes, I pray Lord. that you will walk across every ward, that you will begin to be, Lord God, even like the scripture says that when Peter walked by, they were healed in their shadow. Father, I pray for every Christian representative on every hospital and every ward, that yes, as yes, yes. the hospital bed, that someone yes. will be healed in their shadow. Father, I pray that you will up the gifts of healing even in the hospital that they will become to know your power that they will come to know your authority that we recognize yes, that Lord. even COVID-19 is too big for you that every sickness has to bow because I know my name. every name Ooh. The Father, yes, we yes, call yes. your name Jesus, uh, in which Jesus. the stripes were even on your back. Uh, the yes, chastisement Lord. of your peace was on your shoulders. Yes, and we yes. recognize by your stripes we are healed. Uh, so we yes, intercede Lord. for every healing right now. We intercede Ooh, for man, every man. healing right now in the name oh, of God. Jesus. We yes, just Lord. need healing. Uh, Father, you said Lord. that Lord. Lord. children's bread. Uh, so, Father, yes, we yes, recognize yes. that if we speak your word, uh, that we yes. can claim healing. So, Father, we decree healing. Uh, you said Lord. that no weapon. Uh, that is formed against us will so. now be able to prosper. And every oh, time we, up, we condemn it. So we condemn COVID-19. We condemn no, 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 the virus. So. We condemn every chromosome that's repeating itself in the body. We speak to sinews. We speak to but, blood vessels. We yes. speak to everything that the enemy is trying to do in their bodies. I speak to yes. blood systems. I speak to spinals. I speak to breathing. I speak to lungs. I, I speak to the trachea. I speak yes. to every part of the body. Oh, you will know, hear the word of the Lord and you will be healed. I speak healed, to, the to the woman, thou art loosed. I speak ah, that you will be loose from every sickness, every bondage in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We decree in the name of Jesus we Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank Jesus. You. We thank you for thank those you, who are with bereavement, oh God, for those who are right now. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you see peace in the middle of their storm. Place Ooh. the right people around them. Father, let them sit under the shadow of your wings. Father, when we fail to have the words to say, your peace and your presence is enough. Yes. Let them get full in your presence. Let them get full in your presence. Yes, Let them draw nigh to you. When nothing else mm -hmm. works, everything else fails. Your presence never fails. For in your presence, there is safety. In your presence, there is joy. In your presence, there is fulfillment. There are pleasures forevermore. We thank you that your presence is moving to every room right now. Your presence is moving to every bedroom. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that you will give them sweet sleep. Father, you said in your word that you give your beloved sweet rest. So, yes. Father, we thank you that the stillness of their mind is happening mm -hmm. right now. Father, that they will have peace. I come against every spirit of insomnia. Father, God, that you mm -hmm. have them up. Father, I decree that they will not take pills, but they will be delivered from this and they will be able to sleep. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, peace. Peace. Thank you, Father. Peace, peace, peace. Father, we thank you for every prayer request that's come forward. Father, I decree in the name of Jesus that you're covering those who are dealing with ultrasounds and pregnancy. Father, I thank you that you're healing. I thank you for opening doors and opportunities. I thank you, Father God, that you're healing. I thank you in the name of Jesus that you're providing accommodation for those who are homeless in the name of Jesus. Father, put someone on their mind 
create opportunities, oh God, Father God, let them be covered in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray favor with job interviews. I pray finance yes. for weddings. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, healing, strength. Father God, we pray, Lord God, for mentorship, those who are seeking for mentorship and support in this season. Father, I pray for everyone that's dealing with, Lord God, lesbianism and wants to be healed and delivered. Father, that you will meet them at the point of their need. Father God, I pray, Lord God, for every request, Lord God, right now for those who are in boarding school and feel alone, Lord God, that you will become their family in the name of Jesus. Father, you know every prayer request by name. You know every person by name. And we decree in the name of Jesus that you are the all-sufficient all God, that you can meet them at the point of their needs. Lord, where we fail to remember anybody, Lord God, where we fail to articulate the names, you know them by name. And we decree that their needs will be met in the name of Jesus. 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 We thank you. We honor you. We thank you. We honor you. We thank you. Father, we thank you for... Lord God, healing paralysis. We thank you for breaking soul ties Ooh. in the name of Jesus. We thank you for breaking soul ties in the name yes. of Jesus. We thank you for breaking soul ties in the name Lord. of Jesus. We thank ah, you for soul glory. in the name of Jesus. You will live again. You will live Hallelujah. again. Hallelujah. Relationship Ooh. down. It doesn't have your mind. I don't know who you are. But the enemy has caused that relationship to stifle you. You can't think for yourself. You, it's almost like, ooh, I'm sensing like it's even to the point where you smell things and be triggered. But I decree that he's breaking that soul tie right now. That you will not be triggered. I command every trigger to stop in the name of Jesus. 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 And we thank you. And we know it's done. And we know it's done. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Um, I'm gonna let you just say anything if you feel anything in your spirit, but um we always do it at the end. So I I want you to just give us what our decree is and I get everyone to type it at some point. But whatever you do. The only thing I I I hear. Mm -hmm. And you know, just as well as I know that I don't typically do this, but mm -hmm. all the while that you were praying, I just kept hearing, I just kept hearing this song and I just want to sing a, a piece of it Please, and that'll be, you know, and, and at the end of the day, this is what the Lord wants and this is his desire for you mm -hmm. to, to have peace. Mm -hmm. I want you to go to sleep. Those of you that are in the States, sweet sleep for you. Mm -hmm. Sleep like a baby yeah. tonight. Um, it is well with my soul. When peace like a river attended my way. Jesus. And sorrows like sea billows roll. Yeah. Whatever my life, yeah. thou hast taught me to say, it is well, mm. it is well with my soul, it is well yeah. with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. All is well. I want us, I, I'm, I'm just going to take it out of what she just said. I want you to type, all is well. That's going to be our decree today. All is well. All is well. We're going to speak well. things that are not as though they were. All is well. Hallelujah. Type that I need you to just literally type that and say all as well. I can't believe she's playing that song because anyone knows me, you know I love him, and that that's one of my one of my one of my faves. All is well. Come on, I need you to type that. That's it. Hallelujah. Jesus, all is well. All is well. All is well. I love it. Hallelujah. Yeah. All is well. Thank you, Jesus. All is well. Thank you, Lord. 
All is well. Yeah. Yeah. All is well. Thank you, Lord. You know, you did degree that all is well. All is well. All is well. All is well. Yeah. I pray that you've been blessed. Um, everyone that has tuned in today, I pray that you've been blessed. Minstrels, musicians, creative arts, whatever your department is, whether you administrate in the department, um, my prayer is that this really minister to your soul, minister to your spirit, um, and you are encouraged. I mean, there's so much to be said from this that I, I have to watch this again and write notes because so yeah. much confirmation took place. And um, again, thank you, Rhonda, as always, for just- Thank you so much for having me on. Gleaning into us and just pouring rather, and we were able to glean pouring into us and just, I mean, I'm just seeing everyone type all as well, all as well, all as well. All as well. All as well. All as well. We, just, we just thank God for all that's happening. As I always say, Father, yeah. thank you for this time. Father, I just pray that for those who are going to bed, that they will have sweet sleep. For those who are awake, going about their day, for God, that they have a great day in the name of Jesus. We come against yes. the spirit of retaliation that will try to yes. hinder them because of what has happened today. We render it null and void. And we honor you, we need the praise, and we thank you for all that is yeah. done in this atmosphere. We command it yes. to be sealed, and we look forth for the fruit. And we honor you in Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. I love you guys. Thank you again for being a part, we love you. And if you know that this needs to be shared to someone who couldn't stay up, share it to them, encourage their spirits. Let's let our sisters and our brothers know that we're in this together and that, you know, we can we can make it, we can make it. And I yeah. think um, Miranda said, when we come out, <laughs> the worship experiences, when we come out, oh, I just got full. <clears throat> when we come out of this, I'm excited. Oh, glory. What God glory. is about to do, the things we're going to hear. Glory. Yes, Lord. Going to be incredible. So as she said, here, get your pad, get your pen, get ready to hear. As you're vulnerable with him, get ready to hear. As I said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. I honor you. Um, thank you again, Miranda, so much for all that you shared with us. And I know people's lives are going to be blessed. We love you guys. And um, as I said, we're going to be here again next week. Do not miss it. It's going to be powerful. And I'll see you next week. Love you. Take care.